Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install XP on virtual machine using Hyper Remanager. So first we want to open Hyper Remanager and then uh, we need to create a new virtual machine and since I'm installing XP, so let's go ahead and call it Windows XP. First generation, let's say 2048 megabyte, which gives us 2 gigabyte. And it's, um, well, let's go ahead and connect it to the external switch I created previously. We'll have a um, default name, VHDX, location, size, next. I'm using the ISO image, so let's go to so XP Series Pack 3, OK, and finish. All right, let's go ahead and start. Start this virtual machine, and we can go through the installation. Okay, so here we have the options, press enter to continue, or to repair, F3 to quit. So we want to, it's brand new um, virtual machine, um, XP installation, so we just need to press enter. And uh, F8 to agree terms, uh, end user license agreement. And then if you want to create partition, we need to press C. As we can see here at the bottom, C to create partition. Since I don't want to create any partition, I'll just uh, click install now. Enter to install. Here it will ask question, uh, how do we want to format the partition? If we select quick, it will basically skip the scan disk and uh, NTFS file system. The second option, it will go through the whole process of scan disk. And again, this is the uh, virtual machine. It's on VHD. And um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and choose quick format and using new technology file system. Enter to continue. And uh, here we should be able to see some key combinations. Uh, if you want to go to the full screen mode, Control alt break in uh, Hyper Remanager. And again, in this case, since uh, it is in the installation window, so the full screen resolution, it will stay the same. But uh, if it's in the operating system desktop, we can change the screen resolution to the resolution we want and be able to see larger display. So we just let the installation go through. So as we can see, the system will restart a couple of times during the installation. And when it restarts, it tries to, uh, basically it will ask us question if you want to put from the installation media again, we don't need to press any key. We just let the installation go through. So here, don't press any key. Okay, on this window, we need to click next. On the next window where it asks for type your full name and your company. Well, company full name, let's say name Paymon. And then organization, let's say tech media. Next, product key. We need to click next 
and um, let's say if you want to do the updates automatically okay next all right so as we can see then the installation finished and um, now but still the mouse gets a stock inside the virtual machine so we just need to um, let's close this window we need to install the integration services to release the mouse control alt left arrow and uh, let's cancel this and control left arrow and then we need to click on action and install integration services All right, after integration services and installation finished, system asks us to restart. Let's go click yes to restart the virtual machine. All right, as we can see, the installation has finished and um, after installing uh, Microsoft integration services the mouse won't get stuck inside the virtual machine anymore and this is installing XP on virtual machine using Hyper-V manager thanks for watching